Welcome everyone. Welcome. Um, I really need someone, looks like. <laughs> uh, I prepared everything, but uh, the orientation was locked, so uh, I'm gonna, I opened this new life, hopefully you're gonna find me. And let's see how it goes from here. Okay, please just, uh, if everything's okay, it seems okay, write down for me. Yes, you found me, looks like. Okay, you can hear me, right? <laughs> just write down something. And uh, we are ready to uh, cook, inshallah, hopefully. Merhaba, merhaba, welcome. <laughs> okay. So let's begin. Uh, I didn't even put on my apron. Let's do it <laughs> together. <laughs> okay. That's how you can sit down. That's interesting. I prepared, I thought I prepared everything except wearing my apron looks like. <laughs> okay. It is important. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we're gonna cook three course meal. Uh, it's kind of crazy that I thought about this, but uh, we're gonna try. I do it usually, like many times, if I'm rushing and still want to stick with Turkish food, I mean like home cooked meal. Um, I go rush to prepare everything like in an hour. So I'm gonna do that, and uh, we have on the meal we have tarhana soup. Soup. Uh, it's an ancient recipe, a dried soup mixture. Uh, I'm just going to uh, first uh, let it, since it's a dry mixture, let it soak in water a little bit, and I'm going to cook with in some uh, olive oil. It will thicken, it already has tomatoes, uh, fresh from the season, uh, peppers, yogurt, it ferments together and creates this uh, flavorful and uh, delicious soup mix. So this is the first thing I'm going to do. And second, uh, we're going to make uh, sulu köfte. It's a köfte but um, has a thick sauce, like tomato-based sauce with uh, potatoes in it. And uh, I, I actually uh, was staying for the weekend and my mother-in-law, she made this. Uh, we really loved it, uh, how, the way she cooked. So I said, why not going back home today while uh, to show you, uh, since I get the recipe, so uh, here we are, we're going to do it together uh, on her way. She explained it like five times to me, the recipe. So hopefully we're going to do it. <laughs> and uh, for this I have 300 grams uh, ground beef and uh, one onion and what else? Uh, some tomatoes, garlic, tomato paste. Uh, the seasonings are a little bit of rice I'm going to use for the köfte and uh, tomato red pepper paste I said my uh, hot water is ready here and I have as a seasoning some uh, red peppers and um, ground pa paprika uh, some oregano black pepper just um, good old plain I mean uh, basic spices so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, begin heating up my pan here. I prepared everything so it is crowded here. Let's put this away for a while so I can do it more easily. So, how is everyone going? Um, from where are you watching? Uh, please uh, write down in the chat, on the chat, even though um, I will focus more on cooking, 
I will uh, check your chat from time to time. And also I can uh, read it later from the replay, hopefully. Okay. Uh, on the last live show, uh, you were saying that I was very distracted by the messages. So, um, so it's a live show at the end. I, I love talking to you and uh, reading your comments at the same time while cooking. It's a nice experience, feeling. <laughs> okay, hi to Bangladesh. Where else? So I'm cutting my onion and going to uh, saute, begin to saute in uh, some olive oil. California, Texas, <laughs> beautiful. Okay, you're representing San Francisco, California. Welcome. Malaysia, that's beautiful. Welcome. <laughs> okay. So, um, what I love this recipe, the main dish we're gonna make, the sulu köfte. You have everything in it. It's like a one pot dish. You can uh, eat right away, like, uh, since it has some like a stew, some sauce. You can think of as a mix of like hearty soup and meal uh, with a nice piece of bread. It's kind of a ready meal on its own. So it's, it's really nice and easy to make also. Indonesia, Canada, Pakistan, beautiful India, New Jersey, Belgica, Belgium, welcome, <laughs> beautiful to see. So uh, after the onions, I'm going to uh, cut my potatoes. And actually, I can also meet my um, the ground beef here. I have like uh, one and a half tablespoon of rice. I just washed it. And we're not going to add much ingredients, just some salt and uh, black pepper and a little bit of paprika. And uh, I'm going to knead this a little bit. Um, if you knead more, uh, it will come together, stick together more, uh, more and uh, to prevent while uh, cooking to prevent it's uh, like you know, losing its shape, I can say. But the thing is actually this, uh, this ground beef is fresh from a party where my mother and I bought it today, but it's a new uh, place I bought. And it has a little bit too much fat, I can feel it right now. Uh, it might make uh, my kirti balls fall apart. But we'll see at the end, it's going to be hopefully still good. Alaikum <laughs> Salam, India. And, um, yeah, it, it has really a lot of fat. I can feel it while kneading. But we'll see, hopefully, <laughs> how it's going to turn out. Let, let's knead a little bit more. And uh, it, uh, I added rice, but you can also add some tin bulgur uh, if you are using. Uh, it is another option. And uh, some people do add onion, but in this recipe we don't add it. Uh, but that's another option. Some people make, make it like a, a regular köfte, which has... Uh, um, Stale bread. I'm gonna just get some water to be able to uh, knead easily because it sticks to my hand. Welcome again. Alaikum Salam from Arkansas, Julia. Welcome. I know you. I remember your name because probably you are um, giving a lot of comments. Thank you so much. So I remember you. I, I do remember like uh, if you are giving comments regularly, but of course, sorry, um, not all of you. 
So, okay. Let it, uh, I'm gonna let it rest a little bit and meanwhile I'm gonna add my uh, pepper paste. So here it is. This is mix of uh, tomato and red pepper paste here. I'm gonna add about uh, one tablespoon. There's my let me clean my hands. Okay. And a little bit more. <laughs> okay. And wow, it is crowded. I since I want to stay on in front of the camera, I put everything to, together with me. So I'm going to cook the um, tomato paste and I wanted to add a little bit from the red pepper paste I made because my mother-in-law also did. Uh, it is homemade. This is completely optional but uh, I wanted to show you. This is from last year and it smells amazing. It's really, really easy to make and a little bit mistake here anyway it happens but um, it's really easy to make so uh, if you can find like the real uh, the big uh, kalkia peppers we call um, you can do this very easily I have the recipe on the channel okay and so make sure to uh, watch it if you are interested so I added a little bit from that if you cannot find just a tomato paste, I'm going to lower the heat a little bit to uh, let them have their time. And uh, also going to add some garlic a little bit later maybe, because uh, it will burn otherwise. We need some time to cook for the paste and for the potatoes after that. Okay, so let's cut the potatoes. If you have any questions, just ask me. Here we go. I'm just going to uh, cut them in cubes, like this. You can make them bigger, but uh, in this recipe it is better to stick with the like, similar size as the uh, köfte balls we're going to make. Uh, my mother-in-law made them small, so I'm going to do that too. There is also another um, way of making this uh, sulu köfte, uh, which has, uh, instead, of, like, instead of this uh, thick red sauce, it has white sauce, uh, which is made from yogurt, lemon juice. So it is a sour, we call ekşili köfte. Ekşi means sour. Uh, that is another one you can make. I have the recipe already on the channel. Uh, I will add the links down below if you watch later or you can just search from my archive. Okay. I made it uh, last year so you might uh, find it. It is better. Uh, it was like part of the menu I made uh, for Ramazan iftar. So I'm going to continue to saute the potato. Let's close it a little bit. Give some time. And uh, meanwhile I'm going to shape my köftes. It has uh, a little bit too, as I said, uh, flour. So I might need a little bit, I mean, uh, it has too much fat, I'm going to add a little bit flour, so uh, let me get it from here. Back. What time? Okay, this is starch. Well, that's how life shows. This is starch, I'm going to get the flour. <laughs> Just in case I'm using this to, after shaping it, to put 
so they don't stick. Uh, let's do it here a little bit and then uh, going to shape it. Nerede yaşıyorsun abla? Where, where am I living? Uh, Shirley asks. Uh, this is Istanbul. I live in Istanbul, Turkey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> in class. <laughs> So you, she, someone is watching from the um, class, she said, or he, I don't know, I couldn't read. So I did my hands to water because uh, it really sticks a little too much uh, from the fat. Okay, if anything happens, just, you know, you, you will figure out how to go along. So do you make like do you love uh, making köfte balls and like meatballs? Uh, we have many many different kinds of recipes in Turkish cuisine uh, with sauce in soups as a main dish like oven dishes or uh, as a like fry. We, of course the main one is uh, frying it on stove top with uh, some potatoes. This will uh, give a little bit hard time to me, I think, because um, it sticks a lot, <laughs> anyway. Okay, so uh, while I'm doing this, I can read your messages, by the way. Um, you can give me, uh, if, if you have any comments, questions, just write down, so let me know you are there. <laughs> Uh, what I'm gonna uh, do is just get so it doesn't stick too much. And I can also continue to uh, do it while it cooks. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, Julia. Okay, uh, say hi to your mom. I, I really uh, feel nice that uh, some of you give me messages that you watch me like whole family or with your mom or with your kids it's really lovely and uh, it looks like the potatoes are got nicely cooked so let me check them yes. you see Hot water ready already. The only thing I need is to uh, shake my bones. Curses. Greetings to Chicago. Um, yeah, very really nice. Okay. I wish that I had my daughter next to me so she can shape it. <laughs> These are the perfect times you can give it some uh, jobs to your kids or husband <laughs> might be. They do help. Thank, uh, I am thankful for that. And But right now it's different, of course. <laughs> okay. Any, anyone, any comments? Algeria, okay. Oh, hi, Golden Shamrock. I uh, welcome here. So, uh, as you can see, I just continue shape, and you know what, um, sometimes I do make it, like, make it like in two batches, I need the dough, um, the uh, ground beef, like a double amount, and then shape it like while watching TV, or when I, whenever I have time, and then freeze the rest, uh, after shaping it like this, freeze the rest. And it will be like ready to cook uh, in the freezer, so it will take more like shorter time to make it. Oh hi to Greece, welcome. France, Niara Lisa, welcome. Catherine Irmak, Yakshanlar. It's 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 different to 
talk at the two languages at the same time. Okay. Uh, you see, you can follow me uh, uh, right here. Mm, I'm dipping my hand to water so I can shake it. Probably I'm not going to continue because uh, I want to uh, show you the other uh, dishes as well. I need to complete, as I promised, the three dishes. <laughs> it is still like half an hour. The rice and the soup is really very really easy. The only thing um, gives you like hard time is to uh, shape the balls. That's it. Okay. I think uh, this will be enough, kind of. Let's do it. Let's try in it. Like maybe I can do something. Let's try this as an experiment <laughs> if I can do it like this no it doesn't work <laughs> it's okay or what we can do is maybe I can just a little bit flower again just sprinkle and then put it like this alaikum salam hi to India again welcome Anyone come help me to shape these? <laughs> Would be nice. So anyway, okay, I will continue probably a little bit. This this is enough. I don't have much left. This will be enough to show you. I can also like uh, put a post after I cooked everything because it might take time to at least for the pilaf to um, get rest. So I will make sure to um, share a post on my um, community tab. Uh, you follow me from there too, I think. Thanks for your lovely comments. When I, whenever I share photos, I got uh, lots of uh, feedbacks from you. Let me wash my hands. They are really dirty and coming. So they don't stick. I hope you can see it. Even though you can't, you, you do understand, right? Um, just ask me if you have any questions yeah, about the recipe. I place them loosely, like they don't touch each other. 
and uh, we let them cook with the steam that I add like one cup uh, water and uh, after it cooks with the steam the, uh, the köftes re release their fat a little bit as uh, my, how my mother-in-law described and then uh, I will add more water and yeah, that's it. Let me show you a little bit like this too, how it looks. Here we go. And I'm gonna like put it here. And my plan is heating for the soup. Let's add some oil, some butter. I'm just going to uh, add a little bit again tomato paste, not, not too much, just a little to give some extra uh, deep taste. And here is my uh, carbonara mixture I showed you earlier. I soaked it in just water. It's a ready dry soup. You can buy it when you come to Turkey, and, but it is better to do it at home. Uh, I don't, I'm not saying for this it's very easy, but it, uh, it has like steps you have to finish in uh, 15 days uh, because you ferment it. You need to be at home, like stir a couple of times a day and uh, let it ferment, the mixture. And after that you dry it, so it's a kind of 10 minute everyday process until uh, you get the tarhana for like 15, 20 days and then it's ready a year long. Okay, that's Because um, while it's like simmering to uh, thicken, it also melts the tiny uh, tarnana pieces. So it is better to like let them uh, slowly cook. There we go. I'm gonna again add some salt here. The soup is done. Let them simmer, stir from time to time. And I'm also going to put my um, köftes to bake so I can do uh, make my pilaf. Here we go. Here is the third dish comes, the pan. <laughs> You are still here. <laughs> Who else? Uh, hi, Japan, Brazil, Cuba. Mashallah, beautiful to see all those places. It's really lovely. Thanks for coming, everyone. <laughs> I cannot. Uh, so at the same time, I'm going to do two things. Uh, we'll heat the uh, saute the. Uh, orzo pasta for my rice. I really love the nutty taste, so I usually make it with uh, my, my rice pilaf, make it with orzo pasta. I again have the recipe, uh, just write down if you do like, let's say in a week, how much time, uh, uh, how many time uh, do you make rice like in a month or in a week just write down for turkey it is a lot i can say maybe like two times a week 
or once a week we usually do rice and uh, I heat the vegetable oil, the um, olive oil and I'm going to add uh, some butter I usually eyeball but uh, it is like two handful of orzo pasta here okay Let's turn this low. Okay, the köfte balls looks nice already. I just want to, while uh, sauteing this, finish shaping because otherwise I'm not going to be able to cook in anywhere. <laughs> oh, welcome, Iraq. Okay, no questions. Looks like I explain everything well. Is that me? <laughs> so, and uh, no one said like how many times you are uh, making rice in a month, or, uh, like in, in a week. Do you, you don't cook rice that much as we do in Turkey. So I'm placing the other pieces. Hi UK, <laughs> welcome. So far so good, like uh, it's been how much, like 35 minutes, looks nice. I already begin to the third dish, I should put this here. It's better to, when you do it, just shape the köftes and then begin to make the other dishes. This way it will be easier, but since I wanted to show you all the steps, I couldn't do it from the earlier. <laughs> what do children like to eat in Turkey? That's nice. Um, well, if you ask me when I, when the times I remember from my childhood, when anyone asked me, I would say köfte and potato. Uh, my favorite dish and also pizza. Uh, the way my mom makes, it's kind of a Turkish way, uh, with yeast dough and uh, minced meat and cheese on top, sauteed minced meat. Um, my friends, let me get these to there so uh, it will be not too crowded here. I'm not going to need this and I wash my hands, I, I'll be back like in, in 30 seconds. Okay. one more time and then drain. We have this nice uh, bowl that has this uh, part so you can easily drain it like this. So it's ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make sure to drain well. This is one of the uh, tricks to have a nice fluffy pilaf. And my orzo is 
like in brown color now, so I'm adding the rice. <laughs> okay, I would eat a pilaf every day, uh, Shirley says. That's how we are. <laughs> My daughter is like, like if it's the half day of the pan, it, she's saying that it is finished, what we're going to do tomorrow? <laughs> she's always like this, she doesn't want it to end. <laughs> Let me add the... The salt, like about two teaspoons, and open up. I'm going to saute like for three, four more minutes and add the hot water. For two cups of rice, we add three cups of hot water. Uh, also, the, the rice we are using in Turkey uh, has less starch. Uh, think of like the uh, risotto kind of uh, dishes, they, they are very really starchy and creamy when you cook. Uh, here we don't want to have too much starch in our rice, that's why we wash it also. So it becomes like more fluffy and they don't stick together, instead they are in a very fluffy texture. So the köftes are also um, turned into like köfte, the, the roundness, I don't see the red uh, pieces anymore, the red color on the köftes, so I'm going to add more water now, just to cover them, okay, don't stir too much because they are delicate, they have the köfte balls. The tahmin is should also thicken, and uh, this time I want to make it some creamy, so I'm gonna add the uh, milk, one cup of milk. I really got heat up also, it's getting hot since I'm cooking three dishes. Okay, back to the sulu uh, köfte. I know um, I cannot show you in details since it is live. I tried my best to show um, explain it. Let me try to show you closer. So this is how it looks right now. Um, hope you can see it. Yeah. The colors turned into like a cooked meat, and now I'm gonna add more water, just to barely cover it. And you know what? I'm just thinking. Um, I will probably my my mother-in-law will ask how it went the live show because I told her that I'm gonna uh, cook her dish. Uh, her recipe. Where is my? Okay, here it is. <laughs> so she will see the every step I make and give me a note. I hope I will pass it. <laughs> okay. So the rice is also done. I'm gonna add the water. I don't want to get too much. Um, Steam at the same time, it's really hot, so I add some cold water and mix it with hot. Okay, here we go. We have the uh, rice. 
rice ready to cook. I don't want to make too much noise. You might listen it, listening it with uh, with your ears. I mean, you know, I couldn't tell you. You you get the, what I'm saying uh, with the ear pots. Uh, you might using so I try to be you know gentle even though maybe I didn't but so uh, the soup is still thick looks creamy and nice let's check with ladle I'm gonna leave this it is thick, uh, thick so I'm gonna add more water In like okay 45 minutes and I uh, already did three of them uh, the soup is already ready and the rice will cook for 10 minutes and then uh, better to rest 10 more minutes after it is cooked so it will be fluffy and the köftes are also almost done I can say I will check the potatoes since I diced them uh, kind of small at the same size with the köftes it, it's not gonna take much time to cook <laughs> I cannot believe I'm talking this much <laughs> and uh, I hope you enjoyed well um, I, I, if you want me to continue I can continue a little bit to show you we can talk and probably in like 15 minutes they will be ready to show you I don't know, just uh, I can read your comments now <laughs> I'm done with my cooking, just going to check them what do you say? <laughs> okay any questions uh, you can ask me or uh, maybe you join later and um, uh, you, you can watch it later I'm gonna make, make sure to uh, everyone can watch later as well the soup looks really uh, nice right now okay you make cooking look so easy I'm cooking with Thermomix and I still could not cook like you do I will be tired of I, um, if I cook few dishes like you on a daily basis mm, I never tried Thermomix uh, I, I heard of it I, I'm not sure like how helpful it can be like when you cook like two three dishes I don't know but um, after a time you get used to it like from which one you should begin like so begin with the soaking the rice and then shaping the köftes and then while sauteing the main dish mixture make just stirring the you know the soup at the same time uh, I, I'm not saying it's uh, it, it's kind of uh, makes you you know really busy and you have to focus but like in a half an hour it will um, it comes together everything but of course it takes time I, I'm not saying that, that when I begin to uh, cook like this when I got married it wasn't the same of course I was uh, like uh, first cooking one dish and then the other one maybe it, it was slower but after a time you get used to it make sure to uh, you know maybe you can watch my uh, videos that I uh, cook a couple of recipes together I do have many menus like this that I give myself a challenge to cook everything like in an hour or so it is kind of fun even though um, you do get uh, a hard you know it's a hard thing I mean not hard thing but you, you are still like standing up uh, you have the heat and the time goes maybe people are waiting to eat but still it, it is fun really, I, uh, that's how I feel when I do it and it becomes more easier when you uh, feel that way like if you do uh, feel like what I'm gonna cook today um, every day I need to you know do something like 
if you make yourself like, as a like a um, bad challenge, everything like seems harder, but um, otherwise it will be more easier <laughs> for you. I don't know if uh, my answer is a little bit uh, helpful, hopefully. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Hi, Saudi Arabia. Welcome. Any any other questions? <laughs> um, do you like cooking during Ramadan? Um, I'm not sure. Mm. It might be a nice challenge again, like maybe breaking the iftar life. I don't know. <laughs> I never thought about it. Uh, it still needs some other sign on the edge, just a little bit. I will think about it, maybe breaking my iftar once uh, live. Uh, it, it would be nice, I think. It's, uh, the rice still needs some time. And also, well, you know, the, the rice is regular rice. Uh, at least I can show you the meatballs. Let me check them. My köfte, okay, there's my, here it is, let me get a bit from the potato, okay, it still it needs a little bit time, I can heat up a little bit, let me at least get from the water, you know my Mom and my mother-in-law also says that like if the, the your meals if your meals water the if you, when you taste from the water of the meal the sauce if it tastes good you will know that the dish will taste good so let's do it. Mm. It is delicious, but uh, I would add more spice. The salt is nice, but I, I can add more spice in it, so I'm going to do it, just a little bit, black pepper, and some paprika, okay, <laughs> okay, inshallah we'll develop more passion and patience in I guess once I retire from working, I do the cooking like you. Yeah, well, that's another challenge, of course. Um, when you are working, it's uh, you don't have the full energy after you come back home. So uh, it is more maybe better to, uh, for example, when you think about this menu, to prepare the meatballs at weekend in batches as I said before and then take them out from the freezer and then it will be more much more easier to cook these three dishes and uh, you would have like the tarhana ready soup mixture also it was easy when you think about this menu also uh, you can make uh, like köftes uh, any other dishes uh, like sauteing the veggies and keep them in the freezer uh, to cook the other half way to make it easier at the, during the week. Uh, those are would be like uh, some handy things to you can make. Okay. How do you keep your kitchen so clean and grease free? Maintaining white kitchen is an art. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Um, uh, I'm not like a, I'm not a person that I do clean like every day. I cannot say that uh, it is not always very neat. Uh, I, I'm, I'm saying this because I want to, I want you to know that I'm not like a, you know like perfect, and uh, it, it it doesn't have to be this way. Also, but we are trying our best to you know keep it clean. Uh, what my mother suggests always is to, you know, like if you are finished when you are making the dish, if you are finished with the oil, just, you know, put it back. And uh, if you're not going to need this uh, spoon anymore, just, you know, quickly clean and then uh, it will be, everything will be more neat. Uh, that's 
one way uh, that's how they taught me and I try to do my best and so actually the most important hint I can say is to clean it right away so it doesn't you know uh, the grease doesn't uh, stay there for a long time if it stays it, it will be harder to clean so uh, maybe daily or weekly basis you can just check the kitchen if there is any 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 cleaning needs and then like monthly you can check the oven for example if for the more much more hard work for example top of this gets also greasy uh, a lot of time so that's how I do <laughs> I try my best I'm not saying I'm perfect uh, so I'm gonna actually it's already almost one hour and thank you for sticking I'm gonna uh, show you how it looks and then finish the live show just to you know uh, show you a little bit the end result here we go so this is our meal the rice is still going to need some time to cook so I'm not gonna uh, put them it, it, it doesn't uh, look nice probably right now uh, let me also serve from the tarmana soup okay very okay here it is it is hot the level is hot so i'm gonna do it like this here we go so okay uh, let me taste from the tarmana <laughs> okay, uh, I, I got, I, I see your comments, I will check them. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hmm. It is really nice, but just a little bit more salt. Um, I really uh, do hope once in a lifetime you try tarhana. Uh, since it's really healthy and fermented uh, dish, uh, you should try, hopefully you'll do that in the future. Okay. And I, I'm using um, this wooden spoon. This is special, uh, made from a special uh, tree. Uh, I forgot its name. If you know, just tell me Shimshir. We call it in Turkish Shimshir, but I'm not sure. I don't know the English name. Um, these are really easy to clean, uh, very healthy to use. Let me try. Hmm. Hmm. It's really hot. Almost done. A little bit more time. Very spicy. Um, the sauce is thickened, it will do more. Let me taste from the meat, the köfte. Okay. <laughs> it is hot, I need some time. Hmm. Yes. Um, I got the spices nicely. I did add a lot of black pepper and the uh, rice comes like a little bit, not too much. We didn't add too much. It's a really nice dish, comforting dish for winter or even might be for summer. So give it a try. I will also um, share the complete menu, the photo uh, to my community tab. So if you are new, make sure to um, subscribe and uh, press the notification button so you will get the notifications when I do share them, the new recipes. Let me check the rice. Uh, yeah, it soaks the water. Let me just to show you get a little bit. 
but it needs to rest still. Just I'm gonna show you. Uh, uh, make sure to rest it, okay? Don't take it, serve it right away. Uh, I have the recipe also. Check the uh, check the video for the hints I gave you. So here it is. My three dishes are done in, in an hour. It's uh, perfect, like 7 o'clock right now. And uh, they are almost ready. And my uh, daughter <laughs> and husband, they are waiting. It's like a dinner time here in Istanbul. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, just write down. And uh, if you want me to do more, like cook this kind of meals live or even uh, like in, in a regular episode, just tell me which one is better. Like uh, if you like the live show style to, you know, engage together more and uh, to see me, how I really uh, cook everything. Maybe in an episode you might think like uh, I cut the parts and uh, when I say like, Half an hour or one hour, it's like more, maybe two hours. But here at least I did it, <laughs> thankfully. So thanks for watching my friends. Uh, now I'm going to prepare my dinner and we will enjoy our home-cooked uh, Turkish menu. Um, sulu köfte, tarhana çorbası and şehriyeli pilav. Thanks for uh, watching my friends. And uh, don't forget to uh, share your comments. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> okay. I'm curious how the taste. Hope, uh, hopefully, Shirley, you can um, uh, try the recipe. I will put down the ingredients for the sulu köfte as well. And then um, you g gave me your feedbacks, okay, when you try. <laughs> okay. Okay. Doha, welcome again. Thank you. Nice view from the balcony. Okay. <laughs> Have a nice uh, day, my friends. See you next time.